All the way back in July, Bungie ended up releasing a quest line for all Destiny 2 players known as Exodus. What this asks you to do is to talk to Zavala and then go to Io, Mars, Mercury, and Titan and do the weekly bounties for each one of the vendors on that planet. This is a prerequisite quest leading up into the Traveler's Chosen quest, which we're going to be talking about in today's video. To ensure that you have done the Exodus quest line, make sure to go to your Triumphs page and look for the Exodus Preparation Triumph under the Seasonal tab. If that is checked or you have completed that pursuit, then you are 100% ready to start the Traveler's Chosen quest line, which can be found from Zavala in the tower. Talking to Zavala is going to tell you to go to Io and speak to Asher Mir. What he's going to have you do is get a Taken sample, do a Lost Sector, and get traces of corruption. All you're going to have to do is do the Lost Sector closest to Asher Mir, and there's going to be a specific enemy at the end of this Lost Sector that you need to kill. Make sure that you complete the Lost Sector as well, and kill as many Taken as you can for the traces of corruption, and you will have this step done. After doing this, Asher Mir is going to tell you to do the Pyramidian Strike, and then gather scan traces from the Vex on Io. So just run the strike and you'll get both of these things done at the same time. After this, you are then going to have to do the unexpected guest heroic adventure on Io, which you will find on your map as a blue quest icon. Do not look for the regular adventure icon as you won't find it. It should be right next to the whisper mission. Click on it, load into the mission, complete the adventure, and then you will be done with Io. After this, you will then find yourself on Titan, doing pretty much the exact same thing. Talking to Sloane, she's going to ask you to do the nearest Lost Sector, kill a Hive Knight, and just, well, complete the Lost Sector. You're gonna do this, and then the very next step is gonna ask you to get some tech from the Solarium and get some tech from the Festering Halls. Look at where I'm going on my map, and the Solarium is the giant open area, in which case you will find one enemy. After you kill him, he will drop a chest and give you what you need. Then go on over to the right and to the festering halls, and then you will find two ogres to kill, both of which will give you the chest that you need to then complete this step. After doing this, you are then going to be asked to do the Savathun Song Strike on Titan, as well as get tech fragments from killing ogres, wizards, and knights. Again, you can get both of these done at the exact same time, and after you have done this, you are then going to be asked to go back to Zavala, in which case he will give you a Mindbender's Ambition, and then tell you to go to Mercury. Once you go to Mercury and speak to Brother Vance, he's going to ask you to do the Garden World Strike and get Timeline Fractures from killing Hydras, Minotaurs, and Cyclopses. After you have completed this strike, you are then going to have to do the Tree of Probability Strike and get Traces of Osiris by just killing Cabal. After this, you are then going to have to do the Bug in the System Heroic Adventure, which just like on Io, will be an icon on your map that looks like a mission quest. Click on that instead of any of the other adventures, get it done, and you are done with Mercury. After this, you are done with Mercury and you're going to go on over to Mars and speak to Anna Bray. She's going to tell you to get a data log from investigating the mine lab, so just follow the exact steps that I take and you will find it no problem. Thank you. 
After doing this, you're gonna need to get Rasputin frame pieces just by doing Escalation Protocol and killing the bosses that drop from that event. So just run it until you get five, you don't need to fully complete it, and then you can move on to doing the Deathly Tremors Heroic Adventure. After doing the Deathly Tremors Heroic Adventure, which yet again, it's gonna be a blue icon on your map, you will then go all the way back to Zavala in the tower and get the Traveler's Chosen sidearm. Now, the Traveler's Chosen is quite an interesting weapon, quite easy to get, but it seems quite powerful for both PvE and PvP for a few different builds. The entire point of the weapon is to be an ability-based weapon, where you kill enemies and get stacks that are going to make the weapon better, and then holding your reload is actually going to refresh all of the abilities that you have, stuff like your class ability, grenade, and melee. Stuff like this can be extremely nasty for a Devour build on a Warlock, and I can already see it being extremely useful in PvP, where you just body somebody with a sniper, get the kill with a sidearm, reload it, and get your abilities back. It's a pretty awesome weapon, and it's a pretty unique one at that. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of how the weapon in and of itself shoots, however, that's not exactly the point of the weapon. Get your stacks, get your abilities, and absolutely shred through any of the enemies in the game. That's how you get Traveler's Chosen, and that's a little brief synopsis on what the weapon is about. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward quest. Only took me around two hours, so just grab a few buddies, chill in a call, and just get this done. It's really just going to involve you doing some public events, some lost sectors, a few strikes here and there, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Anyways guys, I hope that this guide was helpful for all of you guys that are trying to get the Traveler's Chosen. Currently, there is no exotic catalyst to get for this weapon, but as soon as there is, I'll try to update the description or the comment section with a pin comment to let you guys know how to get it. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you get this weapon before Beyond Light comes out as the quest will no longer be available, and I'll see you guys next time.